Hey there, it's Colleen Flanagan and today's video we're going to talk a little bit about glaucoma. Martha contacted me and wanted me to do a video for glaucoma. She said she's got it in both eyes but it's worse in the left eye. Now if you're a fan of Louise Hay and Deb Shapiro and all the other mind body wisdom folks, uh, Bruce Lipton, you know that the right side, any conditions on the right side are generally about the logical things in our life. Work, school, money, income, finances, things like that. Fears about that or non-beneficial emotions, blocks about that. The left side of the body is about love, relationships, doing what we love for a living like a business you might have. So that's the first clue, that's the first thing to think of. Okay, what side of the body is it on? What does this mean? Secondly, Think about when did this start and what was going on in your life around that time or right before that time, even several weeks or months before that time, that was very stressful to you. And it could be anything, even the stupidest thing, like and you repress those emotions, obviously about something that you didn't want to see because that's what glaucoma, any eye condition, is about something that's frightening to see. Now the first thing I would look up after you've sort of figured that much out is uh, I'm looking in Louise Hayes' book, Heal Your Body A to Z. She says, Un under eyes and glaucoma, the probable emotional cause is stony unforgiveness, pressure from long-standing hurts, overwhelmed by it all. Then we got Deb Shapiro's Your Body Speaks Your Mind, my go-to guide. <clears throat> She's got a whole lot of more information. She says, firstly, this condition indicates a buildup of unshed tears of emotion, a blocking or repressing of feeling until it grows and begins to affect your clarity. Secondly, tunnel vision implies that the world is narrowing down to only what is right in front of you while the rest is blurred. There might be a fear of change or a fear of what the future looked like. Elders are particularly prone to glaucoma at a time when changes are taking place that may appear beyond their control. There could be great loss at this time of your own capabilities or your loved one that leaves your future looking bleak. She says one, uh, two questions to ask yourself. Is there some deep grief to hold on here? Do you feel a need to cry or mourn? Well, that's all stuff you should write down for yourself. And then when you're ready, and you should just write the stuff down and then start doing the clearing. Whatever was going on, even if you mistakenly try to clear things that aren't related to the glaucoma, it's okay, all right? This is, as I say, not rocket science. It's just general clearing and letting go of the emotions. So you can use EFT. Uh, you can do it clearing and I'll just do several different types here for you. Let's start with the EFT. You tap on the karate chop point. Either way is fine. I like doing the getting to them going there. Even though I got this glaucoma, especially in my left eye, I deeply and completely love and appreciate myself. I know this message is about emotions that are repressed and trapped. That's why I have this condition. It's a message from my body that I need to clear these emotions before the stress that's left over and repressed that my body is holding on to. It could cause terrible damage to my organs and glands, to my body. So my body's telling me through the glaucoma, it's time to clear it, right? I let it go. Even though I have this glaucoma, this situation, this condition called glaucoma, and it's especially worse in my left eye, I choose to release my fear of remembering the time that could have been horribly traumatic or emotional that could have caused it based on the beautiful mind-body wisdom from these two authors, Deb Shapiro and Louise Hay. I accept that this happened, and as I accept it, more wisdom comes to me so I can let go of the true emotional triggers, the anchors of this. And then the third time, even though I have this glaucoma in both eyes, especially the left eye, I now choose to be aware of the message my body is giving me through this condition. And I will clear these emotions out. Thank you, body. Thank you, glaucoma. But it's time for you to hit the road, Jack. 
it's always funny to laugh and be crazy because you know what? Life is too serious for just about everything else. So have some fun while you're doing your self-care. So the next thing to do, I would just suggest doing a quick little uh, nine gamut, which rebalances both sides of the brain and such. And you just start tapping here. This is not in the newer EFT. This is the old school EFT. You tap between the ring finger and the little finger on your left hand, that area. You could see right here that I'm tapping on it very gently. It's fragile. And you close your eyes, open your eyes, look down to one side, look up, look down to the other side, look up. Roll your eyes in a circle in one direction, roll your eyes in a circle in the other direction. Then we're going to sing and count, which rebalances the left and right side. Happy birthday to me. It's a new day for me. I'm loving my life and I'm happy as can be. Creating miracles every day. I love to make stuff up. That's how I roll. Like a little kid, right? Why not? Keeps you young. And I'm almost 70. <laughs> then you count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Who cares? There you go. Everything's rebalanced. Yeah, so now we're going to start with the top of head tapping. Right here. I got this glaucoma, but I'm getting rid of it now. I'm releasing my fear that is causing this pressure in my eyes. That is making my eyes wonky with glaucoma. I release any fears from that time that the glaucoma came on from before. Feeling not safe. Feeling the bad times never are going to end. Maybe fear of failure of a relationship. The loss of a loved one. Releasing my fear of losing my capabilities as an elder person. I let it go now. I release my fears very gently that are causing this glaucoma. This doesn't mean that I'm going to not go to my eye doctor and get it all taken care of. I just choose to supplement my doctor's care, my optometrist's care with emotional release to clear this glaucoma faster, quicker, more efficiently and at 100%. I don't want it, I don't need it. And as I do this tapping, my eyes feel safe to heal and be strong and powerful. And I visualize right now going to the eye doctor, maybe next appointment, and that doctor saying, oh my gosh, it's gone. What happened? Self-care, baby. Self-care works. I release my fears at the root of this glaucoma now. Fears of abandonment or rejection, whether it happened or not happened. Maybe a loved one's ill. You don't know what's going to happen with them. Or you are. I release my fears and unshed tears about the trauma I felt before this glaucoma started. Maybe I felt under intense pressure and stress. And it was so difficult to get through life and seeing what was going on in my life was so frightening. I let it go. Let it go. As I tap on my collarbone, it's just sort of loosening up all these fears that I've been repressing for maybe decades, but definitely before the glaucoma started that triggered this glaucoma, this physical condition. Under the arm, letting go of this fear of not being safe, fear of failure, fear the bad times are never going to end, fear of rejection or abandonment, fear that with every success I had, there were consequences afterwards, or it didn't turn out the way I wanted. And maybe that's clouding my vision as well or causing problems with it. I release all my fears of being under stress and pressure, life not being what I expected, seeing things that were so terrifying to me, We've all seen that, especially when you get to be my age. Whoa! All kinds of stuff. Just letting go of my fears of this now. Letting go of my fears. You can do your fingers, too. Letting go of my fears of not being safe. Thank you, glaucoma. It's time for you to go. Imagining going to the doctor's, the eye doctor's appointment, and the doctor. No glaucoma. It's gone. Yeah, we could do that. We could do that. Letting it go now. And you can also tap along your ankles, along uh, the, just go in a circle around your ankles, tapping, 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 either the inside, the outside, or both, or that, you can go up your shins and such, 
and just talk about releasing my fears in my life path. Releasing my fears I'm not safe. Releasing my fears of seeing things on my life path as I walk my life path that were frightening, terrifying, whether they happen to me or others. And real quick, we're just going to do a little meridian clearing, the fast and easy way. Running our hands in an arc over the top of our head. I release these fears, repressed fears that triggered this glaucoma about things that I was seeing or feeling under pressure or stress or I, I couldn't cry. It was so horrible. My grief was trapped. I let it go. I release my fear of seeing these events that I need to release the emotions from. So many people are afraid of re-experiencing the emotions and I understand that. It sucks, okay? But you know what? Sometimes it's necessary. And as soon as you feel them, you get rid of them just like that. You don't dwell on them and Oh, that was awful time. No, screw you emotions. I'm kicking you to the curb. Going, going, gone. Going, going, gone. <laughs> All these fears, grief, sadness, sorrow, fear and terror. This glaucoma is going to make me blind. Letting go of that. All your other fears related to this condition. Just keep talking and clearing, talking and clearing. Check out my website, emorescue.com. If you need further information, lots of free information there. Leave a comment if you have any questions or concerns or anything I can help you with. And if you need a video that I could make for you on some other topic, let me know. I appreciate you so much. You are a treasure. Take good care of yourself. My website, emorescue.com, offers free ebooks, audios, videos, EFT charts, free charts, all kinds of information for your self-healing empowerment. Check it out today. Thank you.